when we uh, when when Unified uh, left the Staple Group uh, in I think it was 2013, 2011. I don't know. Um, we were uh, free to essentially exercise our own vision as a music company, um, and we um, very quickly had uh, quite a number of successes happen. Um, Vance Joy became, you know, who he is. Um, Violent Soho, um, you know, re-arrived as, you know, Australia's biggest rock band. Um, you know, Amity Affliction uh, continued to be the biggest metalcore band in Australia and, and, and all these sorts of things happened. But there was one moment in particular which, uh, you know, it there's an obvious one, which is Vance Joy releasing Riptide and becoming one of the biggest songs in the world. That was obviously a huge moment for us as a company. But the other one, which was huge, and it comes back to something we were talking about earlier, was um, when Violent Soho's album, Hungry Ghost, went gold. Um, and although I was part of signing that band with Yates, besides going to a bunch of shows and um, you know catching up with the guys from time to time, like I had very little to do with their success. And so to know that we'd actually successfully executed our vision... Uh, in a sense that we'd allowed a massive success to occur without my input, mm. that was huge. And like, I feel like a lot of other people in business would be like, "Oh yeah, like you know," they sort of turn up when the success happens. Oh yeah, like I've been there from the start. All this stuff. It's like that's all Yates. Yeah, you know, right. like that's all Yates. And that's not to me. That's not me saying like when 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 Luke Boredom calls me, I don't like cancel his call. Like I I, I, <laughs> I hope he calls me today. I, I love yeah. the guy. I want to talk to him, but like that's Yates you know like mm. so that was to me like alright we've we're doing this <laughs> 